let's understand what are equivalent fractions. Imagine that there are three cookies and I give you the shaded part from each cookie. So I actually ended up giving you the same amount from each cookie. I am giving you half from each cookie. But as you can see here I divided the cookie into two parts. Here I divided it into four parts and here I divided it into eight parts. Here I am giving you one part out of two. Here I am giving you two parts out of four. And here I am giving you four parts out of eight. So the fraction for the shaded part is here 1 by 2, here 2 by 4 and here 4 by 8. But you can see that their value is same. They are exactly half of each cookie. These two parts make half and these four parts together also make a half. So the fractions which has equal value are called equivalent fractions. In a fraction, the number at the top is called numerator and the number at the bottom is called denominator. We can obtain equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing numerator and denominator by the same number. Like here, if I multiply both numerator and denominator by 2, we should multiply both with the same number. So if I multiply both of them by 2, I will get 1 multiplied by 2 is equals to 2 and 2 multiplied by 2 is equals to 4 so 2 by 4 and I can say that 1 by 2 is equivalent to 2 by 4 again if I multiply 2 and 4 both by 2 I can obtain 2 multiplied by 2 is equals to 4 and 4 multiplied by 2 is equals to 8. So I say that 2 by 4 is equivalent to 4 by 8. So 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 4 by 8, all three are equivalent fractions. Let's understand this with some more examples. Let's say that we have a fraction 2 by 3 and we want to obtain the equivalent fraction for this. So we actually need to multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. So the number can be anything like 2, 3, 4, anything. So let's take suppose 7, any number. So when we multiply 2 and 3 both by 7, we get a new fraction 2 multiplied by 7 is equals to 14 and 3 multiplied by 7 is equals to 21. So we can say that 2 by 3 is equivalent to 14 by 21. Now to obtain the equivalent fraction by dividing, by division. We need to choose a number that can divide both numerator and denominator without leaving a remainder. Like here, if you see, we can divide 12 and 18 both by 2. 2 can divide 12 6 times and 18 9 times. So we say that 12 by 18 is equivalent to 6 by 9. We can find more than one number by which we can divide 12 and 18 without leaving any remainder. Like 
3 also can divide 12 4 times and 18 6 times. Likewise, if we take 6, 6 also can divide 12 2 times and 18 3 times. So you can see that we can easily get so many equivalent fractions. But if the question comes like, um, find the equivalent fractions of 12 by 18 with the numerator 24. So I need to convert numerator to 24. What should I do to convert 12 to 24? Obviously, I need to multiply 12 by 2 to convert it to 24. So the same operation I need to apply at the bottom. So when I do 12 multiplied by 2 divided by 18 multiplied by 2, I get 24 by 36. That's my answer. And what if the question comes like, find the equivalent fraction of 12 by 18 with denominator 3. So this time I need to convert 18 to 3. What should I do to convert 18 to 3? Obviously I need to divide it by 6. So I should divide numerator and denominator both by 6. And when I divide it, I get 6 divides 12 2 times and 18 3 times. So I get equivalent fraction of 12 by 18 with denominator 3. So 12 by 18 is equal to or equivalent to 2 by 3. That's my answer. I hope you understand equivalent fractions very well. Do watch my all the videos on fractions for better understanding.